Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell how to find square root by long division method. This method we generally use for uh, finding square roots for bigger numbers. Let us go through with some examples. Suppose if we want to find the square root of 841, then you just write the number 841 here. In the first step, you have to place bars over every two digits from units digit. Here the unit digit is 1, so from 1 take 2 digits that is 1 and 4, so place a bar over here. And the remaining is only 1 digit that is 8, so just place a bar here. In the second step we have to see the first bar, under the first bar there is 8, so we have to think a number, uh, square number that, is, that should be less than or equal to this 8. So 4 is the square number that is less than 8, so write 4 here and 4 we can write as 2 square. So in the second step we have to write 1, 2 on divisor place and the second 2 on quotient place above the 8, above the first bar. In the third step we have to subtract 4 from 8 like normal division method. So here you write 4 here and uh, next you have to bring down the digits from the next bar. So that is 41. So write for, bring down this 41 here then 41 then the number becomes 441. In the next step you have to double this digit. Uh, suppose if there are two digits you have to double the last digit. So here only one digit so you have to double this digit that is 2 twos are 4. So you write 4 here and uh, you have to think a number here and you have to the, write the same number here and if you multiply with this number with this number then that number should be less than or equal to this number 441. So you have to think a largest number uh, suppose 9 then you write 9 here and the same 9 here and you multiply 9 with 49. So I have written here 49 into 9 becomes 441. So 441 you just write here and subtract this 441 from this number 441 then the remainder becomes 0. So the this number 29 is nothing but the square root of 841. See here square root of 841 is equal to 29. This is the last step, step 7. In this example, I am going to tell how to find square root for 4 digit number. So, to find square root of 6561, first write the number here and place bars over every 2 digits from starting from unit digit. So, here unit digit is 1, so 6, then place a bar over 61 and the remaining digits are 5 and 6, 65. So, place a bar over here. In the next step you have to think a number square number that should be less than or equal to 65. So before 65, uh, 64 is a square number that is less than or equal that is less than 65. So 64 we can write as 8 square. So first 8 we have to write on divisor place and uh, the next 8 we have to write over first bar. Over first bar means 65 above 65 that is uh, you have to write 8 here. So next you have to subtract 64 from 65 that is 1 and uh, bring down the next uh, digit from the next bar so that is 61. So the number now becomes 161 and in the fourth step you have to double this number, this divisor. So two eights are 16. So write 16 here. In the next step you have to write a number here and the same number you have to write over 61 here and uh, that's if you multiply with this number with this 161 that number should be less than or equal to 161. So assume a number here, uh, here 161 last digit is 1. So just multiply with 1 here and the same number you write here. So 1, 161s are 161. See here 161 and 1. Here I have written the last digit as 1. So if you multiply with 1, 161. So that same number you write here 161. Then subtract this number with 161. Then you will get 0. The remainder is 0. So the quotient, the quotient place 81. So this is 81 is nothing but the square root of 6561. Here I am going to tell how to find square root uh, for 7 digit number. So here I have taken 4401604. So just write the number here and uh, place bars from 
starting from unit digit here 4 is a unit digit so starting from 4 0 and 4 so place a bar here and 1 6 16 over a bar here and 40 a bar here and the remaining is only one digit 4 so place a bar here so in the next step you have to start from here and you have to think a square number that should be less than or equal to this number so 4 is the number a square number so you can you can write directly 4 here and we can write 4 as 2 squares so first 2 you have to write on divisor place and second 2 over the first bar at quotient place so now subtract 4 from this 4 and you will get 0 then bring down the next digit 40 here and uh, here you have to double this uh, divisor so 2 2's are 4 you just write 4 here in the next step uh, here the 40 is there and here we have written 4 because twice of this number is 4 so if you assume a number here and the same number if you write the here and if you multiply with this number with this number then you it should be less than or equal to 40 but if you this here 40 so if you assume a lowest number that is 0 if you multiply with the 0 with 40 then it becomes 0 see here 40 into 0 becomes 0 so you have to bring the next digits under the next bar so here 16 you have to bring down so the number becomes 4016 so this is 4 digit number here 40 so you have to assume a number here that should be largest number so you assume 9 then 9 into 9 409 into 9 becomes 3681 see here 4, 409 into 9 is equal to 3681 so now subtract 3681 from 4016 then you will get 335 now bring down the next bar digits that is 04 here and the number becomes 33504 here we have to double the last digit in 409 so if you double this digit 9 9 into 2 becomes 18 so you just write 8 here the unit digit and 1 you carry over here and 1 plus 0 becomes 1 and 4 becomes 4 here see here i have done the calculation here 409 only you have to multiply the last digit and if it is two digit then you carry over the tens digit here and add that to the next digit so now it becomes 418 so again if you have to assume a number here and here the same number here if you multiply with the number with this number it should be less than or equal to this number so assume 9 here suppose if you assume 9 then it becomes 4000 189 multiplied with 9 then it becomes 37701 701 so it is greater than this number so assume 8 now so 4188 into multiplied by 8 becomes 33504 so write the same number here now the remainder becomes 0 if you subtract this number with this then the remainder becomes 0 now the see the quotient place uh, the number is 2098 so this is nothing but square root of this seven digit number so see here square root of this number is 2098